Good day! Our lesson for today is all about representing real-life situations using exponential functions. In this video, students will be able to, number one, define exponential functions. Number two, represent real-life situations using exponential functions. And lastly, solve problems involving real-life situations using exponential functions. What is a exponential function? An exponential function with a base b is a function of the form f of x is equal to b raised to x or y is equal to b raised to x where b is greater than 0 or b is not equal to 1. So, masasabi lang natin siyang it is exponential functions kapag yung b natin is greater than 0 and also b is not equal to 1. Kapag yung b natin ay less than 0, so ibig sabihin it is not exponential functions or kapag yung b natin is equal to 1, so meaning it is not a exponential functions. So, they have an example here about exponential functions. f of x is equal to 6 raised to x. If you can see, yung b natin is greater than 0, so meaning it is a exponential function. While example number 2 is 2 raised to x plus 5, again, our b is greater than 0. And lastly, f of x is equal to 4 raised to 3x. Again, our b is greater than 0. So again, this is an example of exponential functions. Uh, some of the most common applications in real life of exponential functions in their transformations are population growth, exponential decay, and compound interest. In real life of exponential function, we're focused into three, which is population growth, exponential decay, and the last one is the compound interest. So let us start about exponential models and population growth. Suppose a quantity y doubles every t units of time if y sub 0 is the initial amount then the quantity after t units is given by y is equal to the initial amount times 2. From the word 2, nagbibase yan lagi dito if doubles or triples. So, kaya magiging 2 yan. Kung triples yan, so meaning t ang ilalagay dito. Raised to t over t, which is our capital T, is about the unit of time. Let us have an example. Suppose a culture of 300 bacteria at Mg deform is put into a petri dish and the culture doubles every 10 hours. Give an exponential model for the situations. So our solution is let y is equal to the number of bacteria. Then initially, at the time is 0, so the number of bacteria is 300 kasi yan yung starting number of bacteria. And then every 10 hours, so at 10 hours, the number of bacteria is 300 times 2 is 600. So sabi kasi daw, dinodoble yung number of bacteria every 10 hours. So pagdating ng 20 hours, the number of bacteria is 300 times 2 squared is equal to 1,200 or 2 squared is equal to 4 times 300 is 1,200 kasi yung 600 ay dinoble niya uli. And then, if the time is equal to 30, the number of bacteria is 2,400. Kasi nga po, dinoble uli yung 1,200 which is, kung isisimplify natin to, which is the 2 cube, is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 300. The answer is 2,400. Now, if you want to represent this in exponential model, our exponential model is y is equal to 300. Saan daw galing si 300? Sa ating initial bacteria. Then, 2, which is from the word doubles. And then, time over 10. Bakit daw 10? Which is 
uh, every 10 hours na nagdodoble yung number of bacterias. Let us have another example. A culture of 200 bacteria in the petri dish doubles every hour. So A. Write the exponential model for the situation. B. Complete the table. C. How many bacteria will there after 6 hours? So isa-isay natin sagutan yung bawat letra na, na hinahanap. So first, what is the exponential model of the situation? If you can see, this is y is equal to y sub 0, which is the initial amount times kung ano ba yan, kung doubles, triples, and then t over the capital T, which is the unit of time. Identify natin yung mga given. First one is the initial amount. Bakit ba daw 200 yung initial amount? Because the, the culture is 200 bacteria. Then how about the capital T, which is the unit of time? Kasi dumadoble yung bacteria kada isang oras, every hour. That's why the exponential model is y is equal to 200, which is our initial amount, to, kasi from the word, doubles. Then t over 1, which is the unit of time. So that's why this is our exponential model. How about B? Complete the table. So the time is 0, 1, and 2, and then we need to identify the number of bacteria. So the first one, if the time is 0, if the time is 0, so y is equal to 200 times 2 raised to t over 1. So this is our exponential model. And then substitute, so y is equal to 200 times 2 raised to 0, which is our time, over 1. So y is equal to 200 times 2 raised to 0, kasi 0 divided by 1 is 0. And then, if you remember, in the exponential loss, is if the exponent is 0, it is equivalent to 1. That's why y is equal to 200 times 1. So our number of bacteria, if the remaining or the initial is 200. Next, how about if the time is 1? If you can see, the time is 1. So y is equal to 200, again, the same exponential model. Substitute, our t is 1. So 200 times 2, 1 divided by 1 is 1. And then y is equal to 200 times 2 because 2 raised to 1 is equivalent to 2. So, 200 times 2 is 400. Then, how about if the time is 2? So, substitute again. So, y is equal to 200 times 2. Then, our time is 2. So, 2 over 1. Then, 200 times 2 raised to 2. Kasi 2 divided by 1 is 2. Then, simplify. 2, time, two times 2 is 4. So, 4 times 200 is 800. So, how about the last questions? How many bacteria will there after 6 hours? Again, so after 6 hours though, so which is our t or the small t is 6. So, 200 times 2 raised to 6 over 1. So, 6 divided by 1 is 6. So, 200, 2, then 2 raised to 6, parang ba daw raised to 6 yan? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. Anim na beses kayo magmultiply by 2, which is, the answer is 64. So, 64 times 200, so the answer is 12,800. So, meaning, pagdating ng 6 hours, so yung dami ng bacteria na na meron na is 12,800. How about exponential decay? The half-life of radioactive substance is the time it takes for a half of the substances to decay. The exponential decay formula is y is equal to y sub 0, which is the initial, again, and then half, kasi nga po in the exponential decay, 
half life which is equivalent of one half and t over which is the capital t is the unit of time so let us have an example a certain radioactive substance decay half of itself every five days initially there are 50 grams give an exponential model for the amount of remaining substance kapag exponential decay naman tatandaan nyo lang lagi yung word na half para ma-apply nyo yung formula so let y is equal to the amount of substance initially at t is zero again the starting is 50 grams so, ibig sabihin, the amount of subdams is 50 grams. Next one, pagdating ng another 5 days, so nagkaroon na ng 50 divided by 1 half is equal to 25 grams. Then, T is equal to 10, another 5 days, so 50 times 1 half raised to 2, is equal to 12.5 grams. And then, another 5 days is, at the time is 15, amount of substance is 50 times 1 half raised to 3 is equal to 6.25 grams. Kasi nga po, uh, 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 50. So, the answer is 6.525 grams. If you want to identify the exponential model of the amount of the remaining substance, is y is equal to 50. Bakit daw 50? Kasi nga po, the initial is 50 grams. Then, 1 half from the word half. And then, t over 5. Kasi nga po, yung unit of time natin is every 5 days. Another example, the half of life of radioactive substance is 12 hours and there are 200 grams initially. So identify the following, write the exponential model for the situation, then complete the table, and then how many bacteria will there after 3 days. First one, identify the exponential model. If you remember, this is the formula for the exponential decay, which is y is equal to y sub 0, which is the initial amount, times 1 half, then T over the capital T, which is the unit of time. So identify the, the given, which is what is our initial amount. The initial amount is 200 grams. Then our time, or which is the unit of time, is 12 hours. So what will be the exponential model for the situation? Okay, Y is equal to 200 times 1 half because from the word half life raised to t over 12. So this is our exponential uh, model for the situation. How about in completing the table? If the time is 0, 12, and 24 hours and then we need to find the amount. So let us start. If t is equal to 0, substitute the value of our t which is 200 times 1 half raised to 0 over 12. Then 0 divided by 12 is 0. Then the equivalent in the exponential, if the exponent is 0, is equal to 1. So 200 times 1, the answer is 200. How about if time is 12? So again, if time is 12, Substitute, 12 divided by 12 is 1. So, 1 half raised to 1 is 1 half times 200. The answer is 100. Kasi 200 times 1 is 200. Divide by 2 is 100. Then, last one is if the number of hours is 24. T is equal to 24. So, substitute. So, 24 Divide by 12 is 2. Then, 1 half raised to 2 is 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. Then, 200 times 1 fourth. So, 200 times 1 is 200 and then 1 times 4 is 4. So, 200 divided by 4, the answer is 50. 
Another is how many bacteria will there after 3 days? The equivalent number of hours in 3 days is 72. So why? 200 times 1 half raised to 72 divide by 12. So 200 times 1 half 72 divided by 12 is 6. Then 1 half raised to 6 is 1 times uh, 1 raised to 6 is 1. 2 raised to 6 is 64. Then after that multiply 200 times 1 is 200 over 64. So 200 divided by 64 should so mean the answer is y is equal to 3.125 grams. So that will be the answer. Another one about the compound interest. When you say compound interest, if the principal P or the initial amount of money is the invested at an annual rate of R. Compounded annually, then the amount after T, which is the number of years, is given by A, is equal to the principal amount times 1 plus R, or the interest rate, raised to T, which is time. For example, Alin Junisha deposits 10,000 pesos in video that pays 3% compounded interest annually. Define the exponential model for this situation. First one, the solution is initially at time is equal to zero, so 10,000 kasi wala pa namang interest. Kasi sabi nga after a year pa magkakaroon ng interest. At time at one year, so 10,000 times 1 plus 0.03 is equal to 10,300. So meaning after one year, tumubo siya ng 300 pesos. How about after two years? 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 squared because uh, time is 2. So the, the total amount is 10,609 pesos. And last one, the total amount is after three years. So the total amount is 10,927.27. Meaning, the exponential model of this situation is A is equal to 10,000 because 10,000 is the principal amount. And then 1 plus 0 0.03 which is the interest rate time. Another example, Anna deposited 9,500 in a bank that pays a 3% compounded interest annually. So identify the given, write the exponential model for the situation, and then how much money will she have after two years. First, identify the given. So ano ano ba yung mga given natin? First one is P, which is the principal amount. Yung dineposit ni Anna is 9,500. How about the interest rate? The interest rate is 3% or equivalent of 0 0.03. While our time is from the word interest annually. From the word annually is equivalent to 1. So how about the exponential model? So again, A is equal to 9,500 which is the deposited amount times 1 plus 0 0.03 which is the interest rate raised to 1 because that is interest annually. So this is our exponential model. How about Last one, how much money will she have after 2 years? Again, 9,500 times 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 2. Kasi bakit daw raised to 2? Kasi nga po, uh, after 2 years. Next one, A is equal to 9,500 times 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03 raised to 2. Then, get the square root of 1.03 which is the answer is 1.0609 then multiply by 9500 that's why the answer is 10,078 pesos so meaning after 2 years yung pera ni Anna ay magiging 10,078 pesos thanks for watching don't forget to like and share and subscribe to teacher rent tv thank you